Hello there, second year students. I hope you are doing well. I am trying in this short video audio to kind of comfort you about tomorrow's exam and try to give you some pieces of advice in relation to the way you will write tomorrow. Of course, I am going to focus on both the form and content. But I'll this time be more severe in terms of form because it is focal and it is paramount. This doesn't mean, of course, that content is not important, but form is the way you present your work, is the way your readers see things for the first time before starting to read. You will be having an essay, of course, you will be writing essay format ask to write an essay and what I need you to do is to always outline and here I am reminding you to always outline and at least highlight the main ideas that you need to deal with. Concerning the format of the essay, I try, I'll try to kind of guide you again throughout the idea of how to divide your paragraphs and how to write a good conclusion with a good introduction. The introduction should not be longer than the remaining pieces, the remaining paragraphs, because from the test, of course, and I hope that you can take all the comments I gave you into account in your test papers, some students wrote long introductions and uh, devoted less information in the body and conclusion. For example, you cannot write an introduction with seven lines, a conclusion with two lines and body paragraphs with four lines each. In terms of balance, this is inconvenient. And of course, because you are graded on both content and form, I need you to really pay attention to this. The way you write your essay shows how competent you are, how able you are to understand and apply the rules and pieces of advice from the uh, written expression sessions and also from the literature uh, examples and practice that you have dealt with in semester Three, concerning the themes and the content, it will be kind of easy. It's not something that is complicated as long as you focus on what is in the PDF and you study analytically. You will be having, of course, one of the lessons and you will choose one topic to write about. I don't need you to write too much because you will lose connection and you will lose yourself into the process leading to repetition, redundancy and even some problems in style. I hope you can really put a great effort into writing this essay and I hope you are convinced that this is important because writing an essay is not just for my module of literature but it is for your future experiences, future occasions in writing. You will be writing letters, you will be writing something re related to work, related to uh, recommending uh, recommending anything, you will be asked to express yourself in a form of a composition in the future. So it is important to always pay attention to the way you will say it and how you will say it and not only what you will say. Because how you will say it is what attracts the reader the most and how you will form it, design it, is actually what makes your essay more appealing and interesting to read.
and of course to grade. Of course, because it is an exam, it is an official exam, you will be graded. Uh, that's why I have sent you and provided you with the evaluation rubric where you can see the way things are graded on and the criteria, also the descriptors of evaluation. If you can just give importance to that and pay attention to the table, it will be easier for you to write and organize your ideas. Concerning outlining here, it is always important to outline. Maybe as a student in the classroom, you are sitting for an exam and the only thing you think about is how to write things properly and how to mention everything in detail and maybe try to impress or traumatize the teacher. But here, of course, outlining is important because it guides you. It helps you not to be misled, not to go astray. This is insignificant. You are going to outline your ideas and highlight them. And the way to outline it, of course, can be helpful for you because it gives you more ideas and more ways into writing effectively. Speaking of the body, the body, of course, uh, in the body, you will be writing about the topics addressed in the question or the themes addressed in the questions in the question. But also you will be obliged, kind of obliged to support your ideas with supporting ideas. You cannot just write something without trying to convince me and support it by an example or by another idea that can help better understand. It will enrich your paragraph and it will, of course, tell me how able and how competent you are. Before I forget, punctuation, indentation and, of course, uh, capitalization are very important. You have to pay attention to the title of the poem that you are writing. You have to capitalize initials. You have to capitalize the beginning of each and every sentence. After the full stop, you need to capitalize. And of course, try to always provide your text with punctuation. I have corrected some papers with no punctuation on. Indentation is also important because it helps you divide the body paragraphs and also the introduction and conclusion, and it will be easier for your reader to follow. Also, try to provide and um, design a good paragraph by adding linking words, transition words, because they are important. Don't write excessively do, and don't deny the fact that they are important to connect sentences and, and give meaning. Last but not least, please organize your answer sheets. Write well and write properly because you are submitting an exam sheet. This, of course, will show, will reflect you as a student. It will reflect you as someone submitting something to a teacher to be corrected. Please write in a very clear handwriting. Try your best. I know time pressure may be a problem, but try to always, whenever you finish a part and you are sure that this is okay and this is well organized, well structured and clear, you can copy it down in the answer sheet. I hope this is helpful and I hope you find this soothing to some extent. Uh, please, I want you not to be afraid. I want you to enjoy it and to put everything you have in this exam because it is about you and it is about what you have learned throughout the semester. Thank you and good luck.